So, Lewis and Clark explored from Missouri to Oregon, and along the way they found Indians, bison, buffalo, cattle, and all these things on the trail, deer, bear, and they sometimes they shot them. So, yeah, and um, so the Yemassee Indians were from South Carolina, and they were from Charleston, the Winya Bay, and they went all the way up to Pauley's Island and Myrtle Beach. And so the Yemassees were encountered by the Spaniard Lucas Vasquez de Alion, who came, okay, from Europe to South Car present day South Carolina, and there were pirates in South Carolina too, and there were the Westo Indians in Georgia. The Westo Indians were escaping because there was a pirate attack. They were fled. They had to escape because of the pirate attack. There were conquistadors, Span Spanish knights like Juan Ponce de Leon to the south in present day, in present day nearby Jacksonville, Florida, which and the Calusa Indians were from. Florida. They were from Big Pine Key, the Mound Key. They were Spanish, and they came that they were down, sort of, they were Shell Indians. They were called the Shell Indians, and they were wiped out by Europeans in that part of Florida, southwest Florida, by, and there was a pirate that also wiped them out named Jose Gasparilla, Jose Gaspar. He was a mean, brutal pirate that fought the Indians in southwest in the Gulf Coast of Florida, Fort Myers and Cape Coral present day. And so, and so, then in the Gulf of Mexico region, on these key islands, big, huge, humongous keys, and they hunted manatees, they had harpoons, etc., and they were hunting for gold, so, also, let's see, yeah, and the, um, Lumbee Indians are from, Lumbees are still here in North Carolina, they're down in Wilmington, the Lumbees, Lumber, they are from Lumberton, near Wilmington, halfway between Wilmington and and the Outer Banks. So, Lumbees had a speaking indigenous um, language of their own, and they still do to this day. They're the only tribe in our state existing today. So, the Lumbers, they lived in te some teepees and wigwams. Okay, so, in New England, that is a huge Native American place. New England had the Iroquois, the Algonquians, the Wampanoags, who were early tribes in New England, and they had um, the Iroquois and Samuel de Champlain, all that. Then they had these long houses. Long houses are made of wood and made of they're made of sticks, and they had campfires. They lived in the Catskill Mountains and the Hudson River Valley in Poughkeepsie, New York and places, and and Henry Hudson sailed the half moon as in Dutch, in the Dutch New Amsterdam, through what is now New York City, and he encountered the Manhattan Indians, where Manhattan got its name, the city, New York City, we know. If you go thousands of years, hundreds of years back, if you go to Times Square, that place was a hunting ground of Indians, that, of Manhattan Indians, so they were on that island, Manhattan and Long Island, Staten Island, New York, was filled with the Manhattan and the Wampanoag sum, yes, in New York, and so they hunted, they had deer, they hunted deer, they hunted elk, I'm sure it's possible, no, they definitely hunted bears, rabbits, and stuff, and they went into Canada, into Ottawa, so not Ottawa, well, near Montreal. So, and they were fur traders. They encountered trappers, fur traders, etc. And so, <clears throat> they went into the Great Lakes region, into Lake Superior, into Lake Michigan, into Lake 
Um, there was the Erie Passage, Lake Erie, the Erie Canal. He went into Lake Placid, New York, and places, and they encountered Frenchmen like Samuel de Champlain. And La, La, Monet, La Monet, that was another one that they encountered. It was a French... And John, John Ribault, John Ribault was another one. John Ribault, they encountered him and... They were trading furs during that was called the Hudson's Bay Company. The Hudson's Bay Company was in Canada, and it was a stockholding company industry that Samuel de Champlain traded with the native peoples. And so Samuel de Champlain liked not like Sir Francis Drake. That's a bad example, but Samuel de Champlain was born in France. And so what he did was he, too, had a um, in, um, meeting back then with the queen. And so the queen of France negotiated with Samuel de Champlain to fur trade and beavers and stuff. So, And so later in Canada, Canada's filled with Indians. The, they're called the First Nations, First People. They encountered the Royal Mounted Police Officers, which were like Dudley Do-Right, but not Snightly Whiplash, no. They encountered the Canadians. They fur traded. They did all this stuff. And so, into the Sioux area. The Sioux region came, was, the Sioux started out in western Wisconsin, into Minnesota, the land of many lakes, and they went into South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho. The Sioux lived in teepees. They hunted. They they hunted buffalo bison for skin. They rounded up some bison. Yes, they hunted bear. So they went into a, a creek, and they hunted bear. I have a lot to say about the Sioux. They had the Battle of the Rosebud. They encountered the Apaches. They encountered... Um, the bat, the biggest battle was sent by the cavalryman. Cavalryman. His name was. But um, no um, hold on. William Beeston. Okay, and and let me tell you about this. It was called the Battle of the Little Bighorn, and so it was all these this infantry that came on the plains on the high plains and they rode horses by the tens of thousands and they hunted or they battled each other it was the cavalrymen versus the sioux indians and the brule b-r-u-l-e-e-l or -E -E um b-r-u-l-e and so they were um skirmishes between the cavalrymen and then you had the sand creek massacre as part of the sioux territory nation the sioux indians led that and then you had buffalo bill who and his guy his he was a rough rider sorta and then you had sitting bull sitting bull was his partner and you see, you know the image. You know the image. <clears throat> and Custer and Clive Custer. He encountered. They encountered Clive Custer on out west, and they had cattle. They drove cat some cattle maybe, but this was the Sioux. And then they had teepees. They but oh, yeah, well you know, they had teepees. They banged on a drum. You know, they sang. They gathered. They played the tambourine and so the Sioux um, lived in teepees and they sat they kneeled down so you had sign language that the Sioux gave like dog and you had the dog the dog crow Indians you had the black feet you had the um the Dakotas Lakotas and the Cheyennes also one of the biggest Cheyenne um, places was called Tillam uh, Tillamook Fort um, hold on Big Pine Pine Ridge Reservation that still today remains that's in Montana and you had the um you had the um graveyards you had tall grass 
on the prairie and you had bison, buffalo, and they, buffalo are called bison. They roam and go in creeks and water with fir trees and plains and sky, blue sky. And so sometimes these creeks where the buffalo drink, there's reservoirs have birds. Sometimes they have um, birds like ducks, swans, and geese sometimes. And then sometimes they have osprey. They have osprey nests there too. Bison sometimes encounter osprey and sometimes they have um, cattle birds that perch on them that eat insects off of them like storks, little storks, and then they shoo them with their tails. So, and they have these big blubber fur. And yes, Sioux Indian hunted moose and they hunted, um, they hunted moose, bear, deer, elk, beaver. They hunted beaver by rivers. And so sometimes the Sioux had these, they rode on horses. They had bows and arrows which, in which they hunted the bison, the buffalo for venison. They had hunted deer. They hunted everything in the big, out there in the big sky country. They hunted by the rivers. They hunted by all these things and the green green um green valley reservation uh, green that green river valley was another place where the sioux were from so sioux um had and then if you go to the south earlier the navajo indians were discovered by the navajo the anasazi and other indians were discovered by Hernan Cor uh, Coronado's expedition from Mexico into crossing the border into the United States. So the Navajos were Spanish-speaking. 